Hey everyone, Ryan at FRP here. Um, so one question I get quite a bit lately is how to read a data log. Now there's a lot of things that we can cover. Um, I'm going to try to keep this video uh, under 10 minutes. So I'm just going to cover just the, the basics. So I've opened up a log for a early 2000s Dodge Ram. Uh, it's a 4.7 V8 uh, turbocharged. And um, I'm just going to cover just a few basic items. So this is the data log view. I've already opened up the data log in SCT Live Link. And um, so in order to see the log in, in, in total, you need to go up here to the upper left hand corner. Hopefully you can see my mouse pointer. And if I want to max out the vertical range of the log for a specific channel, I would click this, the button that's being highlighted here. And then if I want to see the log from start to finish, I would do that. And that shows the entire log. So um, if you want to zoom in on a specific section, you can, um, you can use the zoom buttons here. This zooms out, this zooms in, and there we go. So the different colored lines um, represent different channels. That's engine coolant temperature. Uh, this here is RPM. This is intake temperature. And the color coding is here in the bottom right hand side. So uh, the main thing that I look at in a given log is uh, when I'm doing custom tune is the wideband air fuel ratio so the way it's normally presented once you add it as a channel in live link it just shows up as volts now you can convert that to wideband I personally have everyone to send it to me in volts that way there's no confusion as to what wideband is being used I've had a couple of cases where someone no fault of their own, by accident, um, use the wrong wideband formula, and all of a sudden we're getting the wrong wideband reading, um, which can be really disastrous. So to prevent that, I just have it set up in volts. So this particular customer is using the AEM 30-4110 uh, uh, wideband air fuel gauge. So I've already, just to save time, I've already put in the wideband formula. So uh, in order to see that, you would... Um, right click on analog one and you would go to add new quick calculated item now I've already put one in so I, I'll go to modify it so you can see it so the wideband formula for this particular wideband O2 sensor is your analog one reading which is volts times two and then plus ten so by adding that formula in this box here um, it automatically converts anything, any analog one reading into a wideband formula specific to the AEM gauge. So I'm going to hit update. Not that I really updated anything. And now I have wideband in AFR to read. The other quick calculated item that I added was what I refer to as VE error. It's basically how far off is my feeling. And all that is is basically these two these two channels added together long-term fuel trim and short-term fuel trim so I'm gonna now go into my histograms histograms are basically charts that break down the data it would take me a really really long time if I just manually just went through all the data in this view you know one one log at a time um, I have to work more effective than that so I use histograms so basically what you would do here is you put your your data that you want to collect and how by how you want to break it down so in this case we want to look at map by RPM so your rows are filled with RPM we're gonna start off at 600 RPM and work in 250 RPM increments for a total of 19 rows so it's going to be 600, 850, 1100, 1350, etc. And then the columns are going to be intake manifold absolute pressure. We're going to start off at 15 kPa, or about 26 inches of vacuum, give or take, and work in 5 kPa increments. So I go to histogram once that's made, and you can of course save that. And 
I hit average over here on the right hand corner of the screen I scroll to the right and what this is doing is it's basically charting out what my air fuel is like in in all these given cells that have been logged so overall this tune is not bad it needs some additional tweaking uh, it looks like a high rpm d cell i still have to pull quite a bit of fuel out um, and it looks like i have to add a little bit of fuel here in boost in the six six to seven pound uh, area but overall this tune is coming right along um, you can see where my fueling was pretty good here because it's holding in around 14.7 Occasionally you'll get cells like this that are um, misrepresented or not 100% accurate. This is probably when uh, the Y band was first warming up, so this is not actually a realistic indication. So that's what we have going on here, and I've also made a histogram for my VE error as well. So all this is is just my field trims combined. And in theory, if I'm having, say, a V error in a given cell of about, you know, say 20%, then I need to pull 15 to 20% fuel out in that, in that corresponding cell. My mouse doesn't really want to cooperate with me today. Okay, so um, these cells here don't really have much in the way of field trim data because most of the time in this particular case he's going into into power enrichment fueling. He's going wide open throttle. Um, you can tell here these are the same cells where it was the wide band was showing rich. This is obviously an area where I need to pull out some fuel. This is on D cell or very light throttle at high RPM. I need to do something about that. This area looks like it's a more of a statistical outlier. I don't think I necessarily need to pull a ton of fuel out of there, at least not right away. Um, I'll need to collect more data there. But that's the gist of what I look at. So I then go into uh, my tune file, and I make changes based off of what I see in these two histograms. And then I save it, I revise it, and uh, rather save it than... <laughs> save it then uh, format it and send it on back as a, as a new tune file i hope you like what you see here today if you have any questions f feel free to leave them in the comments or message me personally and i'll try to uh, answer them the best i can feel free to like comment and subscribe and follow uh, this youtube thing is not really my thing uh, but uh, i hope you like what you see here and uh, this will be the first of many many videos to come